<laughs> All right. That is so awful. Okay, so welcome to the Swedish uh, stream. Uh, I want to call you. you by your name. Yeah, Sebastian then. Sebastian, yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's nice. So, <clears throat> first off, congratulations winning versus Navi. Was it expected? Um, I wouldn't say it was expected. I think we were confident just because we, we've been doing well lately. But um, we have a lot of respect for Navi and their players. So, we went into the game with uh, a lot of focus and try to play our best. And to be honest, I think they played really well and they felt really stronger. And the last time I saw them play or face them, they felt like a team. Yeah, they did. And you guys came out on top anyway. 2-0 versus them. Uh, lately, you have been having better results. Uh, I mean, as an Alliance fan, which we all are, Swedes, yep. um, you kind of came over and solved some issues. Can you tell us a little bit more specifically what you did? Uh, um, well, to be honest, I, I surely had some impact in getting the team um, back in shape, but it's uh, it's obviously a team effort. I think it's just uh, a lot of things happening at the same time. I think the talents were here, and uh, all the um, let's say all the all what's needed for that team to success and to do really great was actually there. It just wasn't put to good use or used correctly. I think that's how I would see it. And um, um, I don't know if it's thanks to me. I don't. I don't think so. I think it's just an overall thing where everybody just actually focuses on his game more. The drafts are way more stable. But I'm not drafting alone. It's a team effort. We all discuss about the draft a lot. I mean, mainly. I mean, Pike at this. Pike at and Loda talks with me the most with about the draft. We're more focused, we're more disciplined when it comes to practice, drafting, playing, like, um, I mean, analyzing the mistakes, the games, and fixing fixing them one after the other. So I, that's how I like to play the game, so I'm pretty sure I brought something in that, like, to work in, like, towards that direction. But from my understanding, we all play, have the same vision of that. And the others bring as much as I do. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a coincidence, uh, <laughs> I guess, like, when I joined the team that the team did better, I know, but I, I really think we're, it's a complete team effort, like, they help me a lot, I try to help them, we all help, help each other, and it works quite well. That's a nice uh, way of uh, putting it if you want to be in a Swedish team. Because we don't like people who, who brag too much, but you really are <laughs> not bragging at all here, no, Rocky I, I really don't think it's on me. I think you I don't think so? Effort. Okay. So tell me a little bit, because you have been in the scene for a long time. Uh, yeah. If I remember, we played versus each other back in the days as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I can yeah. remember that. Yeah. But you, would you say that I'm uh, uh, not fair if I, if I say that you never really got to the top? Yeah, I agree. It's not. It's not unfair. I don't. Know. Uh, it's not unfair to say it. Uh, I think the closest, the closest was probably that. Well, I mean, with MTW, but it was really back in the days. I mean, at some point we were doing quite well in the Western scene. We won DreamHack. We were beating Navi, and not many teams were doing so. And then we kind of failed at TI. Basically, all I've done in Dota was, like, do really well with some teams uh, first. You know, I mean, let's say the six months before the TI and then fail completely at TI. <laughs> That's what happened with MTW, Quantic Gaming and then Sigma, more or less. I mean, Sigma ended before, but uh, get some success before and then when the key tournaments come, then yeah. the performance is well, not really there. Do you have a different feeling when you approach Alliance now? Do you think that you... I mean, or is it the same feeling, like no, you have I a good start or, 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 I think or it's whatever? Different. I think it's different. You know, all those years, I I was able to learn a lot on a human level. I mean, on team, on to learn about what's what makes a team, what makes a good team. You know, like all those those fails. If they had one good side, it's I got a lot of all of them. Like I learned that there was a lot of different things. But then I understood that obviously you need really skilled players and experienced players. But you need before everything else uh, people that are mature, that are respectful towards each other that are willing to practice to help each other that 
those are the key factors. Obviously, if the players don't have the enough level to play at at the top, then it's not gonna happen. But being skilled enough isn't enough. Actually, you need more than this, and I'd say it's even less important. Uh, you can do really well with five players that aren't the best players in the world, but that work together and know what what's important to actually have a, a real team. And if you have five players that are are skilled enough, are good enough, and know that, then you get a like a team that's super strong and that's gonna go really far. So I don't know if that's what we are, but at least we I think we all understand that, and we all know what's needed. So it's at least some positive signs that we want to get there. So uh, honestly, now did you approach Alliance or did they approach you? Uh, I think it was a bit so-so. I, I can't really remember how it, it happened exactly, but uh, I think I had a talk with some of them, or you know, we were just talking about like what's going on and stuff. And I was like, I was back then with deny, and it, it wasn't working at all for me. Mm -hmm. And so I start. I tried to stick with the the French guys because I wanted to try to build that you know that really strong team team that doesn't only rely on we play together because we want to win. Uh, the problem of all those teams that we see nowadays, in my opinion, is that the reason they have to play together is winning. And once they start losing, and it's going to happen at some point, it always happens. Uh, maybe it's because some players are a bit lazy for a week or two, which isn't the end of the world. Or maybe it's because the meta changed and you need to adapt anyway. And those teams, when they start losing, then the only reason they had to play together disappears. And then the team, the, like, there's a lot of problems inside the team. So I was, I, I, I wanted to look for a team that has other reasons to play together that can survive those slumps. Maybe it's because of friendship, maybe it's because of a very solid sponsor, maybe it's because you represent the country and you're proud of doing so. You know, it could be a lot of factors. So anyway, it wasn't working with the French at all. I told them. I knew it wasn't working so much with Alliance. So we just were like, let's try to play together. And I tried to play with them, but it was as off lane and it's not my role. And what I, I think what I bring to a team mostly is not it's really in-game calls or just you know captaining but I'm, I'm not I wouldn't say I'm the captain of Lions I don't I don't think I am We're, we all do it the same but, but you are the drafter I in it. yeah I'm, I'm the drafter like I click the heroes but we discuss them quite a lot and if people don't agree with a pick unless I feel like if I have the gut feeling that it's the pick of the year but it didn't happen yet I mean usually we all agree on what we're gonna draft and we practice it and we're all drafting together, honestly. It's a, it's a team effort. Sure, I'm, I'm drafting, so I have to make the call at the end. But uh, I'd say that we really have... I mean, practice is here to make sure we have the same game plan and the same game vision. So it never happens that we really have different vision of what we should pick and how we should play what we picked. It's really a team effort, but you have to have someone clicking, right? But Yeah, but you have to have someone taking the decision. I mean, of course. It's up to you. If you can't make a, a decision, then it's up to you. So you're still the picker in that sense. But I, I completely yeah, understand that you are doing an hour. How hard is it to be the guy clicking when you have... Um, and this is no offense because I yeah. know these people, but PyCat and Loda, that's like having two four-year-olds if you want to <laughs> use ice cream. Or is it? No, I think, you know, they both have really strong personalities and I mean it in a positive way. Uh, if it's not um, handled well, then it can clash. I mean, not clash as they, you know, um, like show, uh, like clash together as human beings. No, but it's just that visions will collide, and it's gonna waste uh, some of their energy or their or, of or some of their time. So the the best approach is really to make sure that we use all the inputs they give because they br they bring a lot of inputs. They're really skilled players, really experienced players. So is Ake uh, and Nico also to a certain extent. He has less experience, but still. Um, so I think it's what I can bring is actually in game you know when the rhythm is really high and then they don't have so much time to think about you know maybe I just said what the other like the, uh, we're having different approaches and we might go for different calls then this is when I will be okay so he here is what we're gonna do right but it's um, like I really want to make sure that they they don't have different vision in game but it, it was the case at the beginning where I felt I had to make the call 
even if it didn't feel like the best call, but it had to be one team call, if you know what I mean. Like, and then I think it helped to get on the same page, all of us. And now it, it feels way more easier and may, way more smooth. And we all get get we're all on the same page right now. So it's this problem disappeared. And if it appears again, we have we're conscious that this is one of the threat of having actually good players because they can have different visions and in Dota everything is not black or white um, but as long as we know it can happen then we're ready for it and it's not gonna cause any trouble because you guys have been through the struggle period even if you had good results when you joined in you had have have had some I would say bad games I mean as a team awful yeah. games even if you want to be really hard is that um do you feel like that's a positive thing that you you, you ran through the the shit and now you yeah <laughs> it is no it is <laughs> Yeah, no, but it, it is. I know it sounds funny, but it is really important, I think, because that's how you see the the what can actually be bad, what mistakes can be made, and then from there on, you you know you, you just know what can hold you back, and when you know what can hold you back, and you're willing to fix it, then I don't think anything holds you back anymore, and then you start winning and you start doing well, and there's this positive circle when you win that you just get more confidence in your plays, in your style, and you play it better, and you know, in Dota it's always like this, like, when you lose, then you lose a bit of confidence, you lose a bit of trust in your teammates, and then you don't play as a team, or as much as a team as you should, and then you start losing more, and it's a vicious circle, and it's bad, and you have the other one, that's the same, but in a positive way, and that's the one we're in right now, but it's always good, and from my fails, and my experience, uh, there was some success, some phase, and I know that no matter what, even when you win, you need to keep like cold blood and know what are the threats and how you can start losing again and make yeah. sure you stay away from that. But, but I have a question there because um, when you have a na na national team, like you've been playing for a lot of French teams, yeah. Uh, yeah, then you can have that thing that really connects you is the nationality. I don't even know if it matters, but that helps at least. Now you join a team with Alliance, which is definitely a Swedish nationality. How it do is. you how do you change your emotional approach to feel like, wow, yeah, this is a win that we are taking together. What do you do to make that happen? I think you have to get along with the people you play with. It's it's really important. Like, if you really if you really don't like the people you play with it, you're never going to be able to have any sort of success I, and I really like the players I'm playing with as as human beings I have a lot of respect for them as Dota players but also how they how they communicate how they I think they're very respectful very humble very and I I like this type of profile that are all, like as good as they are humble I have a lot of respect for those people and that helps a lot for sure um, I know the feeling like you're representing a country, that's a very strong feeling and I believe in it. That's why I started that French uh, team, right? But it didn't work because the players just weren't skilled enough. I know that's a big feeling, but I think, I'm not Swedish for sure, but I'm pretty sure that um, I will then I will be part of this adventure and it's going to be an honor for me to try to be, you know, um, like to match the, the expectations. So it's a big challenge for me and a big honor and I surely don't want to disappoint so I'm pretty sure that the motivation will be there, the extra motivation because the motivation is obviously the competition, uh, you know, winning with your team, uh, make the practice pay off but that extra motivation you're talking about, I'm pretty sure it's already there and it's just going to keep growing and with the more support we get, it's going to get bigger, I don't have any, any fears in that regard. Um, I don't even have any fairs either, but I'm just curious about that. Actually, yeah. the chat, uh, you know, I have this uh, small Swedish uh, channel. We are about 1,000 viewers, but some of them are uh, telling me to make sure that you know that you have a lot of love from, from Sweden, so that suits well after that question anyway. It, it means so, a lot. It means uh, They can know it means a lot to me. It really does. That is awesome. So uh, tell me now, um, Bucking Mad, because I'm gonna, as I was honest with you, you haven't really. I mean, you have been an awesome player. I've been paying you respects from the moment I play and until I'm a caster. I like you as a player, but um, since you haven't really reached that level to like wow, top notch, do you think you can do it with Alliance? And do you think you are a better player or a worse player at LAN? Oh. 
Those are good questions. No, I, I mean, maybe with teams, I think we, we kind of did reach that level uh, only on certain phases. I mean, I've been playing, uh, let's say, I mean, back then, it's hard to judge, right? Because I think the scene was way weaker, but everyone was way weaker. But I mean, with the MTW days, Navi was the team that no one could beat ever, right? And then we were the only ones to be able to defeat them uh, at LAN in DreamHack for when they came back from China. Then there was this Quantic phase where Alliance, it was Alliance, they were dominating everyone before TI and they came back from the Chinese tournament, I can't, it was I-League maybe, I don't remember the name of the tournament, but the tournament where they slayed the Chinese teams and it was the first time the Western scene went there. And with Quantic we were able to beat them at DreamHack, at least take two games out of them, they beat us in the finals to one and it was a really painful game, like 22 to 0, never forget, right? Oh. But, Ouch. I, I mean, we had we had some some really good games and really good performances, even with Sigma at MLG Columbus. And um, so I know what it takes to play at this level. I, I know everything about what it takes. I, yeah, I'm sure just to that. make sure, I do not doubt that. No, That's no, no, not I know, my, okay. no, 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 oh, I know cool. what you mean, and I, I, no, no, I understand your question. I think it's a really it's a legit question. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very confident. Uh, in my ability to get there and to get the team there and in my teammates to get there as well obviously uh, I have no doubts about that but no I'm yeah I'm very very confident about this I just think it's just about how well we prepare and how methodical we are about our practice and I have no doubts about that and about the LAN I I started playing Dora only because I knew I would love that live competition and I'm it's all I seek and all I like in Dota, so I, I actually perform way better in LAN than I do online. Uh, uh, both as a cap, I mean, as a shot maker or call maker, and as a player. It's I like this high rhythm. I like pressure. I like and you stuff. and you like to be in, in center of attention. I mean, you have been casting, and you 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 enjoy that. You yeah, can't, I don't mind. Yeah. I I know I I. Well, I would I would take it the next step. Actually, you say you don't mind, but I think you actually like it. I I love it. I yeah, love it. so so that's a good thing. I have to ask you some some small random questions now. First, Sigma, the yeah. sponsor. Is that the same? Is that a photo company? Is that a what? Sorry, I didn't catch. What is word. Sigma? Is it a photo company? No. Uh, what Sigma was at first? It's I had a lot of bad experiences uh, with some sponsors back in the days, and it was a reason of one of the fails. Uh, just because we were a bit young and a bit careless and we just went for sponsors that weren't really solid but we were like whatever it's already something blah 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 and then I always uh, I, I studied the uh, business so I it's maybe it's linked but I don't know I, I was always really interested with what's behind those sponsors what profits do they make are they abusing players are they not abusing players you know and I, I had this feeling like Back in the days, where some sponsors were really, I think, abusing a bit players, paying them really few amounts of money, and I agree. were getting way more. And it, I felt like it was really unfair. And my teammates back then were like, "Whatever, man, we're getting 100 bucks for playing Dota. It's already great." I knew, of course, it's good. I, I appreciate it, but I never liked to be used like this. So Sigma was me trying to build. Not a big sponsor or whatever. No, just have. We, I just wanted us to control our faith and control the incomes and how we how that money was used. Like that's what I tried uh, with obviously an investor and two associates. But it and I was the, on the player side, right? But I just wanted to make sure the players weren't getting scammed. Uh, but it was too much to handle playing plus that it was too much yeah so that I understand you completely I've been, I've been in this that situation too so yeah. Sigma is just a multi-gaming organization it's not like a photo company in some way because I no it wasn't a photo company it was okay. only Dota right it was only Dota but it was it wasn't a photo company it was a real company but I get like it was just too much for me to handle so I stepped back I I, I told them I, I can't do that okay yeah, I had to focus on playing so next question is, did we, uh, can, can you remember any games that we played? You and me uh, versus each other. Oh boy, it, if we played games, I'm pretty sure they were at DreamHack. Uh, maybe group stage DreamHack or what? Could it be? 
I, I only remember when I'm winning, so I can only remember beating you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 let's not go there. I'm just, I'm just kidding with you. You like the memory. No, maybe some games at DreamHack in group stages or something, or what? Yeah, um, I, I actually can't remember. I'm thinking, did we go? Because when you say Quantic, I do you remember. You did play in OK Online Kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. We, yeah, we played you in, in uh, we beat you. <laughs> okay, let's say that. I, I can't remember, right? So let's go for that. I mean, whatever. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, <laughs> yeah. uh, it was really like this channel is, is really small, but we're trying to get a good uh, connection to, to the players. And honestly, I think uh, you, you make a good. Uh, I don't even know how to put it, but I think most of us are really ha happy to have you in Alliance. It's like it's it's not like we own Alliance, but you know the feeling when <laughs> yeah. you have followed the team for a long time. That. So I guess this is uh, me saying you are approved. It's oh, <laughs> great! No, no, it's good. No, I'm looking for that. It's it's no, it's, it's important for me because. Like it's not that I have pressure because when I play the game, I mean I have a professional approach to it. So when I play the game, I can't think of that because I'm just doing what I do the best I can do it, and you know it's end of end of story. But outside of the game, it's important for me to be approved, like you said, and I'm doing my best for that, and I will keep on working. And being approved doesn't mean I'm fine with how it's going. I'm gonna keep on working even harder because we have a lot of challenges ahead of us and. It's very important for me on a personal level, but also on a team level. So, um, it's. It, I think it, it sounds awesome. It, it sounds like you, you are the guy that can that, that can make this happen. And I really want to thank you, back, Matt, um, for uh, first of all for for playing good and and uh, winning versus Navi today. We we really wanted a win. And second of all for coming to this interview. And I'm gonna give you uh, some space if you want to say something to the Swedish viewers. And if you don't want to do that, then I'm just gonna say thank you for the interview. No, I just want to thank them for their support and and hope and I I promise I do my best to not disappoint and and it's an honor for me to play with players such as Oda, Ake, Paikat. I like to play with Nico a lot, right? But I didn't know him before I joined the team. I knew the so, others more uh, from Lens and I know they're great players and I like learning from play I think we learn a lot from each other so we have a lot to bring to the table and I'm looking forward to share more with the, the advanced fans that I know less obviously and yeah I, I, I will do my best and I'm pretty sure all of us it's already the case so looking forward to more games more action and keep on winning if possible sounds awesome can you teach me how to say welcome to Sweden in France uh, welcome to, uh, okay so it's bienvenue That's bienvenue, bienvenue, well, bienvenue. Yeah, it's right. That's welcome. And en, it's uh, two. So en? Bienvenue en. Sweden. Sweden is Sweden. Well, then I'm going to end this interview with saying bienvenue en Sweden. And thank you so much for hanging around. And uh, hopefully we can hear from you more. We usually only make interviews with the winners. And of course, if you have time somewhere uh, along the line, I would be greatly honored to have you here. Fucking mad, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Yes. Titta, det har varit ju 